All right. A lot of people ask me why on earth I would want to keep American cockroaches in my house and not completely eradicate them. Well, to me, uh, the American roach, Paraplaneta americana, is probably one of the most interesting cockroaches out there in the pet trade. Um, they are a somewhat of a pest species. You know, you do have to be careful keeping them in, you know, in a completely sealed container with Vaseline around the top. And I put it all the way over to the rim. And that, that kind of makes it like a, uh, almost like a rubber gasket. You know, it, it completely seals off the container, so the first instar nymphs can't even get to the top. Like, they can get up to the, about halfway up that Vaseline, and they usually get stuck or fall down, but I've never had an American roach escape. Um, so I'm not really concerned about any of them getting out of here. This is my uh, white-eyed colony. I have a regular and a white eye. And you can see that nymph right there is, you know, really bright white eyes. And let me see if I can find an adult in here. These guys are fast, you know, they definitely will truck. Let's see if I can get this guy to stand still long enough to film him. There you go. You can see his white eyes that he has. And they are very, very fast moving roaches. Um you know, but they're, they're, you can handle them, you know, they're, they're not too bad, you know, this one's obviously not running around too fast on me, and not any faster than, say, a lateralis would or something, so, all they want to do is get back undercover, you know, they want to get into their hides, and these guys, they're, uh, you know, they're medium-sized roaches, uh, the adults get, you know, relatively large, about almost two inches, uh, inch and a half about, um, I really like taking care of them. I think they're an interesting uh, interesting colony to kind of maintain. They breed relatively fast, so if you do not want to have a lot of them, you do want to either destroy the egg cases to, a, you know, some of them anyway, or just pull the, the first instar nymphs out once in a while. You can see a little tiny one right there. Um, you know, when you get too many of those out, just pull them out and kill them off or feed them off or something like that if you have mantids or small spiders. These guys, I don't really feed off of this colony very often. Um, if I do, I'll feed them to my bearded dragon up here, who is eyeing them very closely. She's really interested in them, as you can see. And she'll she'll love to eat any of these, you know, adults down to the small nymphs. But usually I just lead, let these guys go. I, I breed them as much as I can, you know, until I get a couple, about maybe 100 or so in here, and then I start getting rid of some of them. But the white eyes breed supposedly a little bit slower than the regular Americans do. I haven't had that problem. They breed just as fast as my regular colony. And they grow to the same size, which is also another thing they say about these. They breed, or when they grow, they grow to a three quarters of the size of a regular American. I have not noticed that. They look exactly the same to me. And I, I've held them side by side, exact same length. Um, but these guys have a lighter color. And they're not quite as heavy as the regular Americans are. That's about the only differences I've noticed. Um, their overall color, as well as their eyes, are, are light, you know. So, they're an interesting roach to carry, you know, into a colony. And, you know, I started with just a couple in here, and then they grew, obviously, to, you know, a couple dozen. Um, they take a couple months to grow to adulthood from a first nymph, so you don't have to worry about them getting out of hand too fast. And if they do get out in your house, you can usually get rid of them pretty easy. Um, unless you're connected to, like, an apartment complex that they're coming from somewhere else that has, you know, a lot of problems with roaches. Um, it's really easy to get rid of American roaches, um, you know, otherwise. But, again, these guys, they're easy to take care of. I feed them once a week. I miss them once a week. You can see the sides of the containers are still soaking wet. And that's because it's completely sealed in here. Um, they're from uh, more of, like, an equator equatorial Africa um area originally, so they're, you know, somewhat of a uh, semi-tropical species of sorts, you know, and they like things hot and humid, but I keep them around 70 to 75 degrees, and I keep them relatively moist, you know, I keep the substrate wet, and that, that makes them relatively happy. They still breed just fine. Um, I don't really have any issues with them. Uh, mold is a big problem in a tank like this because it's sealed, so that's why I use the cork bark. It doesn't mold, it doesn't get nasty like a lot of cardboard does. This was a paper towel tube. I'm going to get rid of that eventually. Um, it's not doing anything now. It obviously fell apart. 
Um, I do my best to avoid using cardboard and press board and egg crates and all that kind of junk in these ca containers, mainly because when they're sealed off like this, they rot and they get moldy and gross really fast. So I use cork bark. I'm a big advocate of that. Or cork sheets. Cork sheets work just as well. You can get them from an office supply store relatively cheap. Um, but anyway, these are my American cockroaches and really interesting species to keep. Um, they're fun. They're fast. You know, they're really active. They are always moving around in here. Um, they're really interesting to watch. Um, they do have a defensive odor. It's not too bad. It smells a little bit like, you know, cigarettes. It's not a pleasant odor, but it's not terrible either. It's not like, uh, say, the uh, orange head roach, which has a pretty nasty defensive odor, if you ask me. But anyway, these guys are easy to take care of. You know, they're simple. They don't eat a whole lot. You don't have to feed them a whole heck of a lot. Um, and they'll breed pretty well for most everyone, really. So this is my colony. If you guys have any questions about these guys, uh, let me know. I can try to answer what I can. Um, if you're going to ask about the white-eyed thing, um, it's either they're from a German mine shaft or they're from some kind of radiation experiment that the government did. Um, any way you look at it, there's no definitive answer why they have white eyes. My guess is they found them in a mine, they bred them, and now there's big colonies that... Uh, science used originally, and then the breeder, you know, the population of uh, collectors like me had gotten a hold of, and then we, we breed them as pets more than anything. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Later.